This question provides us a plot of stress versus steady state creep rate, and it asks us to determine the following. For part A, we are to determine the activation energy for creep for this alloy, and they ask us to do so by specifically analyzing 300 megapascals at two temperatures, 650C and 730C. Furthermore, we are told that the stress exponent n is temperature independent. For part B, we are then asked to estimate the steady state creep rate at a temperature which is not included on the plot. So let's start with part A. We know that the steady state creep strain rate e expression is given as follows. We have two terms in front of the exponential. We have the exponential term. Now fortunately, we know that k sub 2 and sigma raised to the n, none of that is temperature dependent. So we can replace it with a new pre-exponential variable. Let's call it k2 prime. Now all we need to do is recognize where 300 megapascals is on this plot, draw a line across, and then see where it intersects the two temperatures, 650C and 730C. Looks like here and here. Conveniently, that corresponds to 10 to the negative fourth and 10 to the negative two per hour. Now that we have those two values, we can go ahead and plug in for two equations with two unknowns. Here's our steady state creep strain rates for both temperatures, and we have the two different temperatures in these expressions. Now there's a number of ways to solve for this. The simplest, though, is to divide these two expressions by one another. So we're going to take the left-hand side of the equation and divide it. And we're going to take the entire right-hand side of the equation and divide it. What that lets us do is cancel out the pre-exponential factor, which we don't know yet. Furthermore, we can remember a trick when using exponentials. If you have exponential of x divided by exponential of y, for example, this can be rewritten as exponential of x minus y. Therefore, we can write our expression as 10 to the negative fourth over 10 to the negative two, the per hours cancel, equals exponential of negative qc over r times 923k plus qc over r times 1003k. When we go ahead and plug in values, we reach this expression. 10 to the minus 4 over 10 to the minus 2 equals exponential of negative 1.0394 times 10 to the negative 5 times the activation energy. Let's start by taking natural log of both sides. This gets rid of the exponential and just leaves us with negative 1.0394 times 10 to the negative 5 multiplied by our activation energy. Solving for Q, we find that it is equal to 443,066 joules per mole. So in order to determine the steady state creep rate at any temperature, we now have to solve for what our pre-exponential factor is, K2 prime. Let's get it alone by dividing both sides by exponential of negative QC over RT. You'll, there's another trick with exponents. If you have 1 over exponential of x, this can be rewritten as exponential of negative x. That allows us to write our expression as follows. k2 prime equals our steady state creep strain rate times the exponential of our activation energy divided by rt1. When we go ahead and plug in values for these things, including our new activation energy, we solve for K2 prime as 1.188 times 10 to the 21 per hour. And what's great is that now we know this pre-exponential value, K2 prime, and the activation energy, QC, we can go ahead and use them to solve for the steady state creep strain rate at any given temperature by plugging it into our initial formula. Plugging in values, we find that in this case, at 873K, which was asked for in this problem, that our steady state creep strain rate is 3.66 times 10 to the negative 6 per hour.